beautiful people welcome back hope you guys are doing well and please stay indoors and safe during this corona virus i know it's difficult but we all are in this together so in today's video i'm going to do little different i'll cook my favorite vegetable maggi noodles and then i'll show you how to get ready under 10 minutes please make sure that you're watching this video till end and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so yeah without any further ado let's go so first i'm going to add half a tablespoon of cumin seeds it gives a nice flavor next i've chopped some green chilies and garlic i love garlic so i try to add in every meal and i let it cook for about 30 seconds till it turns golden brown next i'm adding a two chopped onions and i will let it cook till it becomes translucent and brown So here I'm adding a one chopped capsicum. You can add any vegetables of your choice, whatever you like. Now I'm adding two chopped tomatoes. It gives a very good flavor to the maggi. Next I'm adding half a cup of green peas. and at this point you have to add a pinch of salt to it so that everything cooks properly then i'll cover and cook it for 5 minutes here i have taken three masales pinch of garam masala magic masala and original maggi masala and adding all things together At this point I will add 2 cups of water and let it boil. So I'll be cooking 3 packets of maggi so I'm adding 2 cups of water. You can add more if you need. Then I'll cover and cook it for like 5 to 6 minutes and here my maggi is almost ready. So to give it a nice flavor I'll add some butter to it and see how delicious my maggi is looking guys please try this recipe at your home Yeah so guys I just finished my maggi and trust me it was delicious do try that recipe and let me know in the comment section below how was it So yeah let's move on to makeup So first thing first I'm going to hydrate my face for that I'm using my Body Shop Oils of Life. It's a very good and lightweight facial oil and it gives a very natural and dewy finish. Next I'll be taking my Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation in the shade Butter Pecan. Guys, I would highly recommend to buy this foundation because it's so good and full coverage. You just need one to two drops and that's it. It will cover your whole face and neck. So do try this foundation. And here I'm just blending it all over my skin. Next it's time to hide some dark circles and brighten up the T zone for that I'm using my Maybelline Instant Refine concealer in the shade Sand and this concealer is so good and lightweight and it does its job
So look guys how flawless my base is looking. I'm really impressed. Next I'll take my translucent powder and will set that concealer on the usual areas. Setting up your concealer with the translucent powder is a very important step as it soaks up the excess oil and make your base more flawless. As I'm doing a quick 10 minutes look, so today I'm not using my any eyeshadow palette. I'm just using my bronzer and putting all over my eyelid to give some depth and dimensions to my eyes. This is a very great trick to use your bronzer as an eyeshadow and it looks really nice and just effortless. With the same eyeshadow brush, I'm going ahead and contouring my nose and it's really quick and effortless. Next, I'll take a very thin brush and will apply that bronzer to my lower lash line. This way your eyes will look complete and defined. Next, I'll take that bronzer and apply that on my usual areas. I love to do this and it just makes your face more sculpted and defined. Next, I'll be taking my K Beauty Cardel and apply it on my lower water line. And here I'll not be precise because any which way I'm going ahead and smudge that out. The same thing I'm doing with my upper water line. Next I am taking the same precision brush which I used for applying my eyeshadow and smudging that kajal out and it looks really beautiful when you do that. I'm going to use my Sephora Lash Craft Big Voluminous Mascara and guys this mascara is a bomb I just love everything about it it gives volume and length to my eyelashes look how a mascara can change the eye look Next, it's time to do my brows. For that, I'm using my Benefits Cosmetics Goof Proof Eye Pencil in the shade number 6. And guys, trust me, I'm using this eye pencil for more than a year. And I just love everything about it. It gives a very natural effect to your brows. And it has a spoolie on the other side which helps brushing your brows.
next i'm going to set my brows for that i'm using my benefit cosmetics eyebrow gel in the shade number 4.5 and this is a light brown shade and helps to give your brows a natural and feathery look Next I am using the same eyebrow pencil and just brushing my brows upwards so that it gives a natural effect. Now I am going to apply some blush for that I am using my MAC one in the shade Peaches and this is one of my most favorite blush. I just love everything about it. It gives a very natural effect to your cheeks. Now I'm using my same beauty blender and just dabbing it on my skin to keep everything in place. Next I am going to hydrate my lips for that I am using my Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm and this is my favorite favorite lip balm I can't stop using it. You can leave your makeup like this but I am going ahead and applying some lipstick. For that I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. This is a beautiful mauve shade. I just don't remember the shade number but i will link everything in the description box below so please make sure that you are checking that next it's time to give some glow to your skin for that i'm using my nika highlighter and taking a small beauty blender and applying on my usual areas Guys, if you're looking for a good highlighter, then I would highly recommend to buy this one. And please make sure that you are checking my description box below where I have listed all the products I used in this tutorial. So yeah that completes my look for today hope you guys will like it and if you did please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can recreate this look just under 10 minutes and if you want to recreate this don't forget to tag me on my instagram account which is shreya sharat saxena so yeah till then take care bye bye see you in my next video